Google Ads landing pages. Today we are going to talk about that. So let's jump into the video. Google Ads landing pages has two major functions. Number one, it helps you rank higher in your Google Ads. And number two, it helps to convert a user. In the first section of the video, I will discuss how you can rank higher in your Google Ads without increasing your bid. And in the second section of the video, I will share six tips or six sections that need to be in your Google Ads landing page to get massive conversion rates. I will end this video with a bonus tip and let's start it. First, Google has a metric called ad rank. This ad rank determines what should be the rank of your ad, one, two, three, four, or maybe lower in the page. This depends on two factors, one, bid, and the second, quality score. Either you need to increase the bid to increase your rank, or you need to have a good quality score to have a better rank in Google Ads. Now, quality score in turn depends on three factors. Number one, expected CTR, number two, ad relevance, and number three, landing page experience. And that is where landing page comes into play. Now, what you need to have to get a better landing page experience here in Google Ads. Let's straight away jump into that. You need to have a list of keywords that have very high conversion rate for you and that are working well for you in Google Ads because quality score is determined for every keyword, right? So what we need to do, just have a list of some keywords which are working well for you. Make sure you place them in your title, meta descriptions and heading tags of the page. You don't need to keyword stuff there, no problem at all, but you need to make sure you can naturally place your keywords there so Google find it relevant. And the fourth most important point here is the page speed of your landing page. Your landing page need to have a better page speed, especially you can target less than three seconds. And make sure since most of the traffic is on mobile, your landing page loads very well on mobile. So this was how you can get a better quality score by improving your landing page experience and you don't need a higher bid to rank higher. Now coming to the second part of this video. Now we have got a good quality score. We have got a good ad score. Now user lands on our website. The first thing that they are going to see is very important. This section is called above the fold section or we can call it the first view. Above the fold section needs to have three major things. First, it needs to have a headline, a subheadline, and call to action. But what should be on those headlines? Right? Before I tell you that, let's jump into a real case study here. So we are in above the fold section for one of our clients and we have a headline here, a subheadline here, and then we have a call to action here and the form in front of it. So what your headline needs to have here, it needs to be very simple. It needs to have your service. What do you offer? And if you are a local business, then you can also put the area. For example, here, you could have put couples therapy in California or you can put carpet cleaning in Phoenix. With that, you can always add a benefit. So that headline looks very good. For the benefit, you can add something like carpet cleaning to transform your room, something like this. So you can also give them the benefit that they are going to get and also make sure they know what you offer, right? And in which area that you offer, which also matches with the area you are targeting in Google Ads. So this is what we do in our headline. Now, what our sub headline should have, it could be two to three lines, or it could be three to four points, whatever you like. But here, I prefer to have our unique selling prepositions. Now you must be wondering, but this page does not have this. It is directly asking them to just fill up the form or call them and then you have mentioned your price. Yes, you're right. But what I did here, my unique selling prepositions are here on the top of the page because I had a functionality on my website developer that I could do that. But if you could not do that, you can just simply add these points here in the subheadline, right? So the first by headline users know that they are at the right place. You offer these services and by reading your unique selling prepositions, they are convinced that you are the right person. 
then after that your above the fold section should have a call to action like we have a call action here and in front of it we have a form now similarly in mobile view you need to have your headline subheadline and a call to action there as well now this above the fold section if any users like they are in a hurry or they do not want to read more details after reading that they are surely going to connect you but if they don't do that then we need to move to our second tip the next most important part is our transformation section or three-step section now what does that mean so user lands on your site and you need to make sure that the user really knows what they need to do to contact you and then how you will contact them back how the appointment is going to work and the work day right so what you need to do let me show you an example first this is our transformation section or the three step section on our website as you can see the first step it tells them what to do on our website like they can call us here or they can fill out the form to start the second section we have told them like what they are going to get after that we are going to reach out to them and then we are going to send them a meeting link in the third step we, they can start therapy sessions and then they can build a transformation they can build a stronger relationship right so in this step you need to make sure that you can give them a sense of transformation but also telling them what action they need to do and how you are going to respond to them because it will give them clarity that they need for proceeding with you as we all know that users like to visit more than one page right they would like to visit the websites of your competitors as well so you need to make sure that your page has something which they does not have so that is where our tip number three comes into place Tip number three is you need to have a discount or you must offer something free for them. Now a discount could be 5%, 10% for new customers. You can place it in on your page. And the something free that could be a free consultation, especially in our case, which is couples therapy, that could be a free 15 minute consultation. And in other cases like plumbers, septic tanks, etc., you can have a free inspection. Right. So this will make sure that when they compare the pages your page takes all that credit because you have something which they don't have which is discount or a free offer now our tip number four is going to be social proof you need to have testimonials on your page but what kind of testimonials do you need it could be in the form of text or it could be in the form of video i personally prefer a video it could be a video by your client or it could be the mix of all your work that you have done for your clients in the past now there is also a factor where a lot of people add the text to their sites and then they put names below them like you can see on the screen and then they say these are our reviews but that does not look very good that does not look relevant at all this is not capturing the trust that Google reviews or any third party review site is going to get. So make sure you can enable a widget there. You can add a widget on your site and you can enable Google reviews there. So whenever the latest reviews come up, they show on your landing page. Now for tip number five, users, when they land on the website, they have a lot of concerns and a lot of questions. So you need to give them a platform where they can address their concerns. It could be a live chat widget which you have attached to your website where they can directly ask questions to you or it could be a FAQ section where you have multiple questions and answers so they can address their concerns there. So this is the frequently asked questions section that we have on our site. You can see we don't have a chat widget here so we put a frequently asked questions section but I recommend both of them you can have a frequently asked question section you can have eight to ten questions where you address their concerns and also you can have a chat widget so our last and the sixth step before we move into our bonus tip is going to be the call to action now it is not like the call to action text but rather it is what kind of call to action that you should have and what action you should ask users to take here now on a lot of pages i see there are multiple call to actions and user get confused there so what you need to do 
there is a very common action which is the phone call which i prefer pages to have especially the service businesses and then there is also something called form so you need to have your phone call and form on the page but make sure you have your phone call on your header and then your form you can have on the above the fold section or you can have it below the page and all the buttons that you have on the page it directs to that form so users can clearly fill out that form in this form you can have your recapture or you can have different fields that you need the information and one more thing i want to add here because once you get your form filled by the user make sure you contact them as early as possible because in a lot of cases i see service businesses are very late in contacting the users and when they contact the users they already have been contacted by any other business so don't waste this opportunity have a call to action on the page one or two but don't have more than that don't get users confused into that and now to our bonus tip so you must be wondering how do you check if your landing page is working or not working or if there is anything that needs to be improved number one thing here is to check by your conversion rates in google ads but what if i tell you we can see the user behavior the recordings and we can also get to know if there are any javascript errors any button errors on our page i'm talking about a free setup of microsoft clarity for your website it is free no charges at all and like you can see on the screen i can see the recordings of the people who are on our landing pages and then i can improve accordingly so don't miss this opportunity install microsoft clarity on your site and frequently visit here microsoft clarity and make sure that your google ads landing pages are optimized and according to what users want on your website i hope you liked the video and if you need more valuable content like that subscribe to our channel or if you need a free consultation go visit scalekit.com and schedule a free session one-on-one -on -one with me thank you